Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Game Dev Tycoon. I've just started my recording over again because I called it Game Dev Simulator. <laughs> what is going on there? But anyway, um, I've just been sitting here after recording the last episode. You know, being a YouTuber I have to record some of the episodes together. Um, I asked a lot of questions in that one as well so I'm looking forward to reading your comments but obviously uh, in this episode I don't know what you've all said. Um, but anyway, I've got a whole load of notes written down here about what we're going to do. I thought about it. And uh, in big capital letters I've got written down advertise because we forgot to do that last time. Um, but we're just going to develop a couple of bogus games then we're going to release a new game engine on the new console and I've got down here that we should do a UFO action game on the Super Tez aimed at a young audience and we're going to call that uh, Roswell 47 as well, name it after the famous incident which some people I don't know believe is when aliens landed on the planet or something. I'm sure you've all heard about it. Anyway. Um, so, right, we're going to develop a trash game. We also need to do some research as well, that's another point. Um, so the topic is going to be pirate, like we were doing trash games with pirate previously. I think we've done RPG and action, so now we need to do simulation and strategy. So they'll be our other two games. Of course, we'll do it on the PC and make this as cheap as possible. Um, so yep, text-based graphics. And because we're going to be doing an action game, I think we should adjust the sliders for this one and just put it in favour of gameplay and engine rather than story and quests which is what we've been focusing on a lot and another thing here um, I was going based on a comment that we could get away with doing RPG after doing another RPG but maybe that's why the reviews were lower you know we used all the same sliders uh, we had a new game engine yet the review was lower and I think you know you do have to break up the combination each time so maybe the best thing for us to do would be to rotate between adventure and RPG games but um, I do want to do some other ones as well and we're going to do an action one this time and I think from time to time as well we should develop an interesting game on the PC just for the sake of you know developing other games here and there it's not always about making money <laughs> although it is of course if you want to win the game if that is even possible I don't think there's an end game maybe there is It'd be nice actually to get that far because I've seen um, some pictures and stuff of like the later consoles in the game and I just have, yeah, no idea what happens at a certain point. Does that ever run out? Do they make things for beyond the current day? If you know what I'm saying. <laughs> if that made any sense. Okay, so we've got quite a few research points from that. Let's finish. We don't need to get rid of the bugs. And you see, now that we're at level 4, we're not going up much at all at the moment. So uh, I get the feeling like maybe we really do need to move on and get into our new office and then when we're developing g bigger games as a team of people then perhaps these multipliers will really help um, so anyway research what do we need to do we've done our topics research um, we're gonna do let's see we need things for the action game which is what we're gonna be developing next hmm what ones do we want I'm not sure we don't want branching story day and night cycle um, engine that's probably a good one to get right there so I think we'll go for multiplayer um, stereo sound costs a lot so we won't bother with that so as well as this I think we should go for the gameplay ones right here and the AI as well so we'll get those two because they're relatively cheap and maybe better AI as well which is another 25 research points we actually have enough to do all of that which is awesome um, so I'll skip all of this it's boring you know what happens the little slider goes across so I'll get that research done and I will be back with you in a moment so I think I must have miscalculated something there, that I, but I did plan on researching the steering wheel. That was another one that cost 10 research points, um, but we don't have enough for it. I don't know how I got that wrong. I could have swore we had 28 points in total, uh, but that's all been researched. The steering wheel I don't think will be necessary, so should we make another game engine? Now I commented it on the last episode that I don't know how much um, what you put into the game engine affects you know the success of the game so if we put in uh, just a few extra features is it really gonna cut like you know make that much of a difference um, but we have three things to add here anyway and let's just go down here you see do I need to include better dialogues when I have the dialogue tree one way to find out would actually be to see when you select it down the side if you select both or one or the other that would be a good indicator but that would save us 10,000 so that's not really something I need to take a risk on I don't think um, yeah, so everything right there, that's going to cost us 380. Let's make it. Um, that is a lot of money. <laughs> we 
We have uh, just over 5 million at the moment, and I think if we can make a hit with this game, if we can sell you know, 5 million, or at least sell enough copies to make 5 million, then we'll probably be ready to move out. And look, they're asking us to move out um, right now, so not yet. Um, however, I have planned out two games, so I think we'll release those two games regardless of how much money I make, and then take a look at the situation. So the Tez is going to go off the market soon, that's fine, I don't think we even... even I don't think we ever developed a game on that, which is something we could have done had we not made that game engine, and that might have sold a few more copies. Um, but again, I'm getting, I'm getting a bit annoyed by having to cut all the time, you know? It seemed like before when we were playing, there was always something to talk about, but we're getting used to this game by now, so... Uh, I'll make a cut and wait for this to finish. Okay, there we go. The engine is complete. It is now time to set up our new game. So it's going to be on that engine, of course. And this game is going to be called... What was that? Huh! That's really weird. <laughs> I can sort of slide it over to one side. How strange. Anyway, this game is going to be called... Roswell 47... It will be a UFO themed game, which we have done one of those before. Um, it might have been an action that we've done before now that I think about it. In which case we'd lose the multiplier on that, but I sort of already made up my mind, so I don't want to go back on that. So we might not get the multipliers. Um, yeah, anyway, what is this going to be released on? The Super Test, that is going to cost us 6,000, which isn't a lot compared to the 5 million that we have. Um, so let's go to next. And then we've got to set up the sliders for this game. We're going to use TD Graphics. TD? Did I just say TD or 2D? Uh, okay, anyway, so we need to focus on the gameplay, not so much the engine, um, and nothing on story and quests. And then let's have a look at the things down the side. So we'll add those to gameplay and those to engines. We don't need the story and cutscenes. And then the next slider, we're going to focus on level. I think it is. Is that level design or world design? No, level design, yeah. Not so much artificial intelligence, uh, but we need to stick those two right there. So better dialogues and dialogue tree. You can actually select both of those. Okay, that's interesting. That was something we were talking about when we made the game engine. Okay, so the next level of sliders, all about graphics, really. Maybe put world design up a bit, put sound down. And we don't really want to, yeah, we don't want to do that open world. Okay, so, actually maybe that will make a difference, I don't know, let's just tick it anyway. Because <laughs> things like open world could affect an action game, you know, you could have an open world environment to explore and that could make it quite successful. Um, I think we've had higher design points than that before, but I think our technology ones are the highest they've been. All the bugs are gone, let's see if we get an extra point, yes, that's good. So we will finish there. And what did I forget to do? I forgot to do advertising. Oh, I am failing. I am failing here. Let's release the game. Possibly could trash it and develop it again so we do the advertising. I am really annoyed with myself for forgetting that. I've got it written in big capital letters over here. Um, no, we do not want to move out. Oh. <laughs> I am really annoyed. Okay, reviews have come in. Oh god, they're low. Mm. I am annoyed. I thought I'd done all this before. I thought I figured everything out. I've done something wrong there and I'm not sure what it is, you know. Develop the new game engine. Put it on the new console. I don't I don't get it. Hmm. Well, we've uh, sold some copies of the game. Not a lot at all by the looks of it. It looks like it's going to be a complete and utter flop. Um, I think we should just develop the next game I have on my list and try and make some money on the other console using the same engine perhaps. So Game Engine 4, let's go for a young audience. Um, I don't have enough... Yeah, I don't have a, a name for this yet. Uh, but it's Wild West. Why don't we just call it Wild West? I can't be bothered to sit here and think of names again. Um, so that will be an RPG game on the game link and it will be themed on the Wild West. So, yep, everything's good. Let's click on Next. 2D Graphics, let's start the development. And this could be a bad idea. I don't know, I thought I figured everything out. Um, so, with an RPG game, we want to focus on the story, not so much the engine, so we'll probably get rid of... Actually, you know what, they don't cost a lot. Let's just leave them in. OK, 
Okay, we need to get the sliders right so we actually develop all of that. Okay, that looks good. And we're going to start advertising. This time I remembered. Okay, let's get rid of that. Uh, wow, we can sabotage someone. Huh. I'm not going to do that. Uh, let's start... Wait, should we do it now or in the next one? We'll do it in the next one. Okay, so RPG, let me look at the uh, notes again. It's all about dialogues and level design. Not so much artificial intelligence, so we'll get rid of the better AI and put those on. And now, now we will do our marketing, and we need to invest some money to get some returns on the sales. So there we go, magazines and demos. Let's choose that one, and the hype is going up. Now, because we're developing the game, I think the hype is going to continue to go up. At least that's what I had when I was testing this out. There we go, all the way up to 10. Um, so now we need to focus on world design. I should remember this. <laughs> and not so much graphics. Okay, and all of that's cool over there. And the hype is still going up. And look at that. It, it was a complete and utter flop. <laughs> I don't even want to read those numbers out. Oh, that was so bad. Um, right, so now we need to get rid of the bugs. The hype is good. Let's hope it stays that way. We've got a few design points and technology ones as well. That, Yeah, that was interesting. Okay, there we go. So hype 14. New record on both. All the multipliers. This could be the hit right here. This could be the one. Let's release that game. And now special training is available. How do we do that? Do I click on me? I thought you only got that when you went into an office. Uh, maybe it's a research thing. Okay, so the Wild West reviews came in. What? <laughs> what did I do wrong? Oh my. I, I don't get it. <laughs> maybe I'm developing RPG games, you see. I read that thing, so you can learn from me. I read that comment about... Now it's okay to do RPGs over and over again. That's the problem I've made here. I've developed three RPGs in a row on the game link, completely ignored my own research, and so we've gone from 9.5, we should have developed like an adventure game, and then maybe gone back to an RPG, but we look at this, we've just completely flopped. <laughs> um, it's not good. It's not good at all, is it? It's not acceptable. Hmm, so let's have a look at the sales. Maybe it will at least make some money. No, it's not. It's gonna. We're gonna lose money again on it. Um, oh, I'm so disappointed. Okay, so what shall I do at this point here? Um, well, we need to develop an adventure game on the console. If I develop another one straight away, I get this feeling that the same thing is gonna happen when you develop them too close together. It's just gonna be another flop. However, we need the money if we're gonna do anything. And if I sit around developing games we're going to fall behind our schedule so I think what we need to do is develop an adventure game um, maybe we could make an adventure fantasy game that would be a good combination so let's just jump right into it and see if we can pull things back and we haven't done fantasy in a while actually I think we did fantasy adventure let's have a look no, we did Fantasy RPG. Okay, that's good to know. Right, so that would be not a bad decision properly. So, Fantasy, um, Adventure, and we'll put this on the game link, and it will be with our new engine. And what are we going to call the game? Um, <laughs> I have no idea. I'm kind of a bit frazzled with the way this is going at the moment. Um, hmm. Let's call it... Final Fantasy, yeah. That's pretty original, I don't think anyone's used that name before. Right, so, let's go and develop this game. <laughs> and again, what are we doing? Adventure, so we want to focus on... Oh, I've got it written down here, story and gameplay. Not so much engine, so we will get rid of those features and save ourselves a bit of money. And right now I feel like I'm just... I'm just winging this one, you know. And let's start doing some marketing early as well. So, if this game flops, what I'm thinking is that we've fallen behind on the plan. And I'll wait for your feedback before doing anything. Um, what I might do is just play the game up to this point. 
um, yeah, not record any of it and then say, okay, here we are. Here are the games that I released in the past. This is what we're going to do and see if we can improve. Because I really do want to go far in this game, but when I record, I just seem to make all the wrong decisions. I don't know what is with that. <laughs> so, um, a focus, is that right? We're doing an adventure game, so a focus on um, dialogues and level design. Okay. So the hype is slowly going up. Again, adventure game, we focus on world and graphics and sound like it is at the moment, so everything there is fine. Okay, the design points look alright. The technology is a bit lacking, but the design is going up and it will probably get one or two more. Okay, Wild West is now off the market. It sold an embarrassing amount of units and it made next to nothing because the development cost was a lot higher. Oh dear. <laughs> I mean, if these games had been a success and I'd done things right, then we'd be well and truly out of here by now. But we're not. We made all the wrong decisions. Um, we're going to finish it. It doesn't look like we're going to grab an extra point. Uh, so we didn't get a record on either of those. Let's release the game. Okay, that's fine. And let's see what happens with these sales. Am I going to rage quit? <laughs> oh, okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Seven, that's too low. Yep, I'm just not doing things right, am I? I thought I knew what I was doing and I've done it all wrong. At least it's a seven and a half overall. Let's see what the sales are like. Oh, no, click, double clicked there. <laughs> Trying to skip things along. Yep, that is not good enough, is it? We're going to fall behind with this game yet again. Okay, so I'm going to leave it down to you guys. Um, what do you want to see? I'm not going to play again from the beginning. I will continue playing this game even if I don't make YouTube videos on it. Um, I seem to play better offline as it is, you know. When I say offline, I mean not recording. So, do you want to see me get sort of roughly back round to this point? Uh, do everything off camera and start recording again? Or should we call it a day? I don't know. You guys let me know what you want in the comments. And I uh, really appreciate all the feedback and, you know, the support you've given me with this series as well. So, whatever you want is what we will do. And thank you for watching. I will catch you next time.